Hi dear students and welcome to the NIOS Home Science Practical number 15. And our today's practical is about the commonly household course that is cleaning up for our students. As you know, cleaning is something that is been done most of by the females. But as you know, home science is for boys also. So today you will be seeing our boy students also doing the cleaning practically. Before coming forward to the practical area, let us get to know the objectives for the practical. Our first objective is to identify the surface. Identify the surface, like what type of surface is it, whether it's a door or window panes or the tiles, floorings, etc. And what is the quality of it, whether it's a wooden flooring or a marble flooring or a normal tile, ceramic tile, etc. Because every chemical has to be used for it is different. Our second objective is to identify the cleansing agents. Identify the cleansing agents. And our third point is about to, se about to select an appropriate cleaning method. To select an appropriate appropriate cleansing method. So, keeping in mind all the three types of objectives, let us come forward to the practical area and get to know what are the materials required in this practical. In the materials required for this practical are number one, an acidic solution available at the home very easily called vinegar, an alkali or basic solution called soda bicarbonate or soda powder, a oil so that it gives a nice polish that is kerosene oil. Other materials such as Dettol and soap or any other type of disinfectants are required that I will show you right now how where it is going to be used. So here we need a broom, a mop, a bucket. Inside the bucket we have already having the disinfectant that is the Dettol and Clorox solution inside which will help to remove our germs and soap is required if you want to clean the really tough stained area. So these are the materials that are required in order to do our today's practical. So let us come forward and see how the different parts of the surfaces of the house can be cleaned using these types of materials. Students you can see here this is a painted door to which we are going to start doing our first method of cleaning. So first we will be using the help of our duster and then dusting it out just to remove the dry dust from the door using the help of our soft duster. Once that has been cleaned, you will apply some water to your same duster and then start cleaning the area so that if there are any dried stains there, that can also be removed. And after doing the complete finishing, that is doing the dry dusting and the wet dusting, you are now going to do the polishing. For polishing, you will be taking the same cloth, adding some kerosene oil on it, which will act as a polish and then give a final touch to the door. This polish will give a good smell and at the same time it is going to clean the area. The kerosene oil gives a good shine to the door and makes it clean and preserves it from the future dust and other things for a long period of time. This is how we clean our door. Let us come forward to the window area. Do the cleaning of the floor. For that, first take a broom and then start doing your normal dusting. This dusting, once we remove all the dirt, you can see here, normal dusting. We have purposely put the dirt in here so that it can be removed and the practical can be accomplished. And then once all the dirt has been taken, it will be collected into one area. All the dirt is going to be collected into one area and then finally going to be picked up using our small duster. As you can see, all the dust has been collected in this area right now. And now with the help of your duster, you're going to start picking up all the dirt. After the area has been cleaned up using the help of duster, now is the time to mop it. In our mopping bucket, we are having our Dettol and soap solution. Soap is in a less concentrated so nobody can slip over it. And the disinfectant that is Clorox and Dettol. Once you dip your mop into the water, then you can use the help of that one and then wash it. Like that so that all the water has been drained out. Let's start. The first tile will be cleaned and so on you can clean the whole house. With a circular motion you can clean the area and that area is going to be disinfected, completely removed, 
out of the germs and clean. Some type of little rubbing will be required in order to remove any hard or dried stains from there. You know children's stain and cat stains are always there because of your pets and all. After this method, let's come to our washing the metal tap area, the final part. We will be starting to clean the window. For that we will first remove any other stains from there or anything that is easily scrapable from the hand. Take our duster and give a normal dusting to the windows so all the dry dust are removed. Especially the areas near this rubber parts. These rubber parts are the ones which carry most of the dust and the dirt into it. That will be cleaned. After that, using the help of little bit of water, we, will, we can clean the window more better. You can see here and clean it till it dries. Especially again the area of the rubber so that no more dust is over there also at the same time. Once that is done and cleaned properly, you can then do your polishing. Now we'll take the kerosene, add a little bit into it, which will act as a polish and then give a polish to our windows. The aluminium areas, the rubber areas, so that they are cleaned thoroughly. This is the method involved in cleaning the window panes. Now let's come to the kitchen or the bathroom or any type of tile cleaning procedure. This is our metal tap. You can see there is a lot of stains in here, white color stains which needs to be removed. These are some very hard type of stains which are due to dissolved salts and have made a layer over it and it is very difficult to remove. So today I will be telling you the procedure how to remove it. So first what you have to do is just give a normal water over it just to make it wet we will switch on the same tap take some water pour over it so that it is made completely wet once it has been made wet we will add our vinegar solution over it slowly when the vinegar is poured over it it, the, it will give some surface tensions over the area this area and then we are going to add some soda powder on it. The soda powder will actually react on the vinegar. As you can hear the noise also. And let it there for about 2 to 3 minutes. So now we will make our sponge wet from the same tap. Use the green area because it's the harder area and then start scrubbing that particular part. As you know we had left it for about 5 minutes so that the stains can try its best to dissolve on it. 